What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Dr. Nina. Growing up, a lot of us are taught how to wash and moisturize our skin. And some of us are lucky enough to even learn those basics, but there's so much more in between. So today I wanna to focus on some of those small things that we miss in our skincare routine that could be causing us acne scars, hyperpigmentation, wrinkles, premature aging, pimples, and the works but there's so much that we could be doing, the small things, in order to lead us to our clear skin goals. So today I'm gonna to be talking about some of those things that have helped to brighten and tone my skin, and it has come a mighty long way from where it has been in the past, dealing with things like acne, hyperpigmentation, and across my body, I also know that I have hydrodinitis superativa, and though it has majorly improved over the years, especially since losing all the weight that I've lost and kept off, I still know the the problems that can occur from having a lot of skin issues. And some of y'all gonna be sitting back talking about Auntie Nina, I ain't got time for all of that. And to that sweetheart, I'm going to say that you definitely might be making time for wrinkles, acne scars, hyperpigmentation, pimples, all of it. Now I'm not a miracle worker, but I'm hoping that a lot of these things will help you in your clear skin goals. All the items that I use today can be found down below in the information section. Now let's get into it. And y'all, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it, comment, share, and subscribe. And also click on those notification bells so you can know when I upload on Thursdays and Sundays. Make sure you also check out my Now That's Life podcast, which is now live. And you can check it out on all your major podcasting platforms. Links to my podcast can be found down below in the information section. The first thing I believe in is exfoliation utensils. And that can include anything from a mechanical type of exfoliation to a homemade scrub or one that you purchase. Now I like these because it helps to reduce acne scars, pimples, blackheads. It also helps to clear your pores and over time, it helps with the smoothness of the skin as well. And that's all over your body. Now I've made and created so many different scrubs and one of my favorite ones, especially during the cooler months of the year is my lavender scrub. I've included all the exact amounts down below in the information section. For this one, all I use is sugar, either white or brown. Also an oil, almond oil, coconut or olive oil, vitamin E oil, vanilla extract, and lavender essential oils. I love this scrub because it really helps to soothe and calm my skin, especially when it's a little bit irritated. Of course, you don't wanna be exfoliating over areas that are having extreme problems. It really does help with the soothing and it calms me down. And y'all, I'm also into those mechanical exfoliators. I love these because they're simple to work with, they're easy to travel with, and instead of having like a messier scrub, it's simpler to think of and to use whenever you need to. I exfoliate two to three times a week, and I will say at least two of those times or a mechanical exfoliator, and that's across my body. And you guys have seen mostly the same ones over the past five or six years. I really love the ones by Vanity Planet. I've been sticking with those because they're inexpensive, they give you the best results I find, and they're dependable. And they're bringing you guys today's video. So the first mechanical exfoliator that I love by them is the Ultimate Skin Spa. Not only does this thing have an amazing travel case, but I find it easy to use because it has different brushes heads, everything from sensitive skin to a more textured scrub, if you will. I also love the fact that I can use it on my face, my neck. It seems to smooth out my skin, any roughness, dryness, also unclogging those pores. And I've seen grand improvements and results from using it over time. I have that one linked down below for you guys. I also love the Spin for Perfect Skin. Now y'all should be sick of seeing this thing. I use it in all of my body care type of routines and videos, and I use it daily. I keep it in my shower. It has been so dependable and amazing. I haven't had to have a new one in five years and y'all know I use my stuff. So I really like it because it has the detachable and changeable heads as well as a pumice stone for those more harder areas of the body like the feet, the toes, those types of things. I've also linked that one for you. And I have a new one that I've added to the group from Vanity Planet which is the Xfora. Now this thing is a bomb. It's definitely dope. It's like an at home microderm abrasion. It has a diamond encrusted tip which helps to get at that top layer of skin and clear it up so that your skin can glow. We love glowing over here. It helps to reduce the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and hyperpigmentation. 
It also helps to reduce the appearance of pores. You can change the suction level and the strength on it. And I was shocked when getting this thing home at how much it actually does pull. And I've had professional microderm abrasion done and it feels quite similar. It even tells you the directions to move the tool so that you're not lost in where you need to go next on your face. After using it, my skin feels soft and not stripped. It looks noticeably better and even glowy and dewy, especially the next morning when the skin has had time to rejuvenate. If you're interested, check out my link and code down below for 50% off today. And while I'm mentioning those exfoliation tools, I keep them clean. I love to use Dow antibacterial soap so that they don't become a bacteria fest. I also store them in cool, dry places so that they don't have the opportunity to grow and produce a lot of bacteria in which I would scrub right back into my skin. So be careful with that. Next is to keep all of your utensils top notch and clean. I love to use Dr. Bronner's Castile soap and I also love Dawn dish soap. Now this helps to keep my makeup brushes and my beauty blenders in tip top shape. Dawn dish soap is really great on my brushes. I find it to be light and gentle and it gets all that oil and dirt from deep down inside of them. Now I love Castile soap across my body, especially the liquid form, but I love the bar form for my beauty blenders. It seems to get all of the dirt and stains out of my beauty blenders. Y'all know how they get ugly and it doesn't seem to take that long to do so. And I also feel like it's cleaned with without any super harsh chemicals. This keeps me from depositing a lot of dirt back into my skin because a lot of times when you're using those old dirty brushes, that's what you're doing. I even own a machine that helps to clean my dirty brushes that helps to speed up the process as well. I try to make sure that anything that's dedicated to touching my body and face daily needs to be washed at least one time a week. And while we're talking about the makeup and the makeup brushes, I don't make it a practice to use anybody else's on my face unless they're a professional makeup artist that has clean brushes. Also, watch what you're using in terms of their makeup because you don't know if that goes with the chemistry of your skin. And as much as you love your friends and family, y'all have different chemistry and makeup. So if they are not taking care of their brushes or their makeup and they're cross-contaminating, then you could be coming up short as well. And to cut down on the bacteria I might redeposit into my makeup, I try to make sure I spray it with just a little bit of alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, to make sure it takes off any topical bacteria. The next thing is to make sure you're changing and washing your pillowcases. This helps to reduce any sleep wrinkles and it also helps to maintain your skin's moisture. Not only that, but it helps to keep you from redepositing germs and things that happen when you're sleeping. I slobber, I, I drool, okay, I call it slobber. And I'm telling you, there's enzymes and there's acids in that drool and saliva. You don't wanna go in sleeping on that day after day and not expect a breakout. That's what's going to happen. So you wanna make sure you're washing those and I try to throw those in the wash at least twice a week. The next thing is to be careful with your skin washing methods. I try to wash up instead of down and move upward instead of down or in a circular motion. And when I'm rinsing, I rinse upward. Think about it. If you're dragging your face down, you're going to cause fine lines and wrinkles and also jowls and things like that. You don't want to look like you pull your face down. You want to keep it setting up. And when it comes to using different methods, give your body at least six weeks to adjust. A lot of y'all like to switch and jump and hop around all the time, but you're not giving your skin time enough to get used to a certain technique so you can determine whether or not it works. The next thing is to get your mask on. And while I try to do these whenever I think of them, I try to get it down to at least four times a month, once a week, giving myself a nice moisturizing mask if needed or something to help with any dry skin, any skin that's flaking. I try to go with what is happening with my skin before I apply a mask. And don't just buy a mask because I talk about it or because anybody talks about it. Get the things that work best for your skin and your skin makeup. If you have oily skin, you probably don't want to be getting a lot of oil-based stuff unless it's something that's going to help with cutting down on that. And also be mindful of the seasons because that's going to also help determine what results you get from the mask you choose. The next thing is to wash your hands. 
a lot of us sit around touching and feeling on our face and our body all the time, you know you're redepositing bacteria, right? Your hands just as dirty as a zebra's butt. And your face should definitely be a no-touch zone if you know your hands are dirty. Make sure you're washing your hands throughout the day. I know this sounds weird, but anytime I go to do anything with my skin, if I'm close to a sink, I try to go ahead and wash my hands with a good antibacterial soap. This cuts down on your ability to carry over a lot of bacteria into your skin that's not wanted and that could cause you further problems and damage. And while we're talking about them hands, let's calm down on the picking. And if you're itching for a picking, instead of picking at your face, <laughs> make sure that you go and pick up something like tea tree oil or a topical treatment. There are ones that I buy, yes, but I find one that's tried and true. It's pure tea tree oil. Now, mind you, this can be a little bit irritating for some skin types, so you don't want to put it on unless you dilute it or try it out first to see that it won't harm your skin because it could cause redness, it could cause irritation or burning so be very careful you can definitely go and get a topical treatment keep something around that keeps you from directly touching your face and body especially when them hands is dirty try using paper towels instead of using towels on your face now on my body I do use towels and I towel blot dry that's another thing about your skin you don't want to drag it dry you want to towel blot your skin but for my face I stick with a lot of paper towels and I stick with ones that don't have have designs on them and all of the extras and the works. I try to get pure white. Towels can house hidden bacteria. It's proven. And then you bake it right on in with the dryer. So be very careful with putting that on your face. I use paper towels. My mother taught me that and I'm very grateful for it because when my skin was breaking out when I was younger and she really switched me over to those paper towels, I saw a lot of benefits and have since then. Remove makeup completely every night. No ifs, ands, buts, or maybes. Get your butt up and clean it off. Now, one thing I do is keep like the Shea Moisture Wipes by my bed so I can start the washing process so I don't feel so lazy or so tired or don't want to wash my face off. That gets me started and then that moves me to the bathroom to wash the rest of it off completely. And while we're talking about washing, I double wash even after using those. You should never just use those towels and be done because those have little formulas and chemicals in them that you don't want to sit on your face overnight. So I double wash after using those and I double wash anyway, just to remove all debris, remove all the product, remove anything that could be in my day or in those towels or in that makeup. And it's not enough to moisturize. Serums definitely help us to get rid of wrinkles, to tone the skin, to cut down on dark marks and acne. I like a good vitamin C serum. It's really great for brightening the skin tone and getting rid of a lot of those little bitty bumps and textures and all of those dark marks. It also reduces under eye circles and it helps with the production of collagen, which is gonna help your skin look plump, smooth, and beautiful. Try styles that keep your hair off your skin. Now, I love a good down style, but y'all always ask me why I don't ever wear my hair down. I work out a lot. When I work out, then the chemicals from the products I use in my hair can come down onto my face, especially if my hair is down. So I tend to wear my hair up because it keeps me from doing that. I notice that when I wear my hair down sometimes over time, it causes irritation, it causes bumps, it causes it calls opportunities for a lot of bad stuff to happen on my skin. So I choose to wear my hair up. Now, I like to do that because it really does keep from that excess product or any chemicals or things getting on my skin that are unneeded. The next thing is to steam it out. I try to get in a good steaming at least twice a month or when I think of it. I mean, realistically, with doing all this, you have to think of it. Now, steaming is excellent because it really does help to give your pores a nice cleansing. I also feel like my skin is not as irritated. If I have a pimple, I also find this is a good way to help reduce that. I like to add a little bit of lavender to the mix because it soothes the skin. It helps it feel less irritated, less dry. It puts more back into it. Now you can just use a pot of boiled water and put it into a bowl and sit over that and allow it to soak in for 10 to 15 minutes. Or you can be like me and buy a cheap little Conair steamer. Really cheap. I have it in my Amazon shop if you're interested. I just love that thing because it has a cut on and a cut off switch. It also has a timer on it so I don't oversteam my face. And it makes it simple for when I'm sitting watching my favorite show and I'm getting 
good benefits from it. The next thing is to cleanse your skin from the inside. I love doing this because it makes it really simple for my body to accept nutrients. When you detox your body, your skin really sees a lot of good benefits. And I've had to notice that over the years with detoxing. Y'all know I'm always talking about detoxing. One of my favorite ones is just taking a little water with ACV and fresh lemon. And it is so good in the morning. It also seems to kind of curb my <laughs> hunger because I'm an intermittent faster. So I also get other benefits from it. But I placed one of my favorite cleanses down below specifically for the skin. It includes turmeric and it also includes ACV. These are things that are really good for flushing out the skin allowing your body to take in the nutrients for your skin and helping it to heal from the inside out. Now I've learned to stay away from saturated fats and highly greasy foods. A lot of these foods are going to make your skin act up because they clog the pores from the inside out. I like to stick with my green leafy vegetables as well as the lean proteins which are going to offer me a lot of nutrients. I also like anything with vitamin A and E and beta carotene which help with cell renewal and repair. You want to stay away from excess caffeine, salt, high levels of sugar, and preservatives. There's much more, but those are really violators. You want to have avocado, wild salmon, oregano, ginger, Greek yogurt, carrot, kale, green tea, eggs, berries, broccoli, man, all of those things is making me hungry, but they're also just great for your skin. Now, if you have a hard time taking those things in, because some of us ain't sitting up wanting to eat a bowl of kale, you might want to make a smoothie. Smoothies have have been my favorite thing in the whole wide world and juices. And if you're not down for just making everything, I love companies like Yay Organics, which I get all my juices from. And I also have my blender bottle by them that also charges your phone. Y'all, this thing has made my life 10 times better. They have coconut powder, they have carrot powder, they have kale. They, I mean, they have everything, wheatgrass. And these are things that are gonna really be great in smoothies because they're going to boost up those vitamins I speak of, vitamin A, E, K, all of those great ones that are great for our skin and also our hair. The next thing is to really make sure you're hydrating and massaging your skin. Some of us tend to just throw some moisturizer on and don't really care about where it lands as long as we think we're moisturizing, but your skin could be crying out from the depths of your soul. You wanna make sure you're moisturizing that in really well. And it can make a big difference because dry skin is definitely prone to wrinkles and acne, believe it or not. So you wanna make sure you're getting that moisture deep down inside before you go to bed and also in the morning when you wash your face because this is gonna carry your skin through. It's gonna create a moisture barrier and at night it's going to help with rejuvenation of the skin. When your skin has that hydration on it and you're sleeping, it has a better chance of that cell repair and renewal. You're gonna feel better, look better, and you ain't gonna be thirsty out here. A lot of us skip the eye cream, but stop. Okay, <laughs> take care of those eyes with a great eye cream at night and in the morning. The reason being is it's going to help to cut down on those dark spots and those wrinkles and those crow's feet. We wanna make sure that our skin is just hydrated overall. You can't leave out the eyes, okay? The eyes is a part of your face. So make sure that you invest in a really nice cream. Sometimes creams for the eyes are expensive, but guys, you only got two eyes. It's not like you're moisturizing 10 eyes, okay? Get the eye cream, use it. It usually lasts you a pretty nice amount of time. I get Kills Avocado eye cream. I love the Rock Skin RX eye cream. It is amazing. I've seen such benefits. Y'all ask me how I stay youthful looking, I stay awake looking, and also I don't have the dark circles get you some eye cream. You also want to take yourself a great vitamin. I've talked about lots of vitamins today, but you want to take a good multivitamin, but check with your doctor to make sure you know the kind that's going to work best for you. And also check with them on your diet because they can also put you on the right path with that. Now with those, I try to make sure I'm getting the vitamins A, E, and K. Like I said, your vitamin Bs, prebiotics, and probiotics are also wonderful because they lay the groundwork for your body being able to take in and absorb nutrients. So you want to to make sure you're looking into the type of vitamins you're taking. I've taken prenatals in the past and they've been awesome, but I also consulted with my doctor first. So make sure you know what's going to be best for your body. Now y'all don't hurt everybody and their mama talking about watering, but I'm going to say it again. You know why? Because a lot of y'all still sitting there right now, dry, thirsty, crusty, and disgusted. Bitter too. 
okay? Water solves all your issues because when you drink your water, you mind your business, right? I drink a lot of water. I drink a gallon a day. Y'all have seen my gallon bottle and now I have a half gallon bottle, which I drink two of in a day. It's just easier for me to carry around. If you're interested in those two, they are in my Amazon shop. But water is the nutrient source. It sets your foundation. It allows you to flush all these nutrients through your body and also get rid of toxins. So get you some water, honey. And here's a bonus one for the ride. Spend some money on your skin. I know, I know. You gonna say I ain't got no money, but you just bought a new bag and some new shoes. And I ain't saying you shouldn't treat yourself, but don't you wanna spend money on something that's going to, you know, bring you value for the rest of your life? That person, that bag won't necessarily bring you value, but your skin will. So invest in it. I like to go see an esthetician at least once a month. The reason being is because I want a professional to look at my skin and make sure it's good. And a dermatologist, when the time calls for it. I also make sure I spend money on nice products. Yes, I use a lot of store-bought products, but I do my research and I make sure it has the ingredients I need. So take the time to invest in yourself, not only monetarily, but make sure you're paying attention to what's in your items and pay yourself back by doing the research and making sure those things work for you. I hope today's video has been beneficial for you guys and I hope that you've gotten a lot out of this that can help to supplement your skincare routine. We get in that skincare together for the 2020 because we look in 2020 not 20 and late okay let's get it together make sure that you comment share this video with someone who can use it and subscribe thanks so much for watching guys beautiful brown baby doll peace special thanks to jason bowie of trinity media solutions for co-producing and filming today's video his information can be found down below in the information section Thanks so much for all the love and support over on my new website. If you haven't already, go ahead and check it out and join me for new ways to interact with me, giveaways and prizes, weekly emails, as well as my free eight day supernatural video course, which is free when you sign up.